Welcome to my S500 build. In some of my previous videos, I uh, started a build with an Alien X500, and well, I kind of had a mishap. I had, uh, I don't have the package they came in, but I have these uh, HP Carbon Mix props. Um, this is actually a couple pieces left from what happened. Um, the best I could tell, I believe I had a one of these hubs break in midair on one of the motors and um, it sent it spiraling down to the ground and this is what's left of two of the other props and the reason I think that it broke at the hub is because um, three prop, three motors still had parts of props and one, one motor still had the the washer and the, and the nut there still on the motor but it had no hub there so that kind of made me think that uh, that's probably what happened um, but definitely want to show you these are the HQ they are I think they were I don't know if one of them says on there. Yeah, the 10 4. Si uh, 4.7 carbon fiber mix. I want to show you just how brittle those are. They just snap that easy. Uh, here's the other one. And these are a little thicker on here, out on the towards the hub here. They're a little bit thicker. But as, as you got out to the tip there, um, they were breaking really, really easy. It's kind of like that. So I would not go with those props. They're really stiff. But uh, they seem to be really brittle. But anyway, so that's what happened. I completely destroyed the alien frame, so I decided to start with the S500 frame. Uh, the only addition to that is, is I am now going to be running the Exacraft Mini X. Um, so far, I've had uh, I've had this flight ready a couple times. Here's the flight controller, really, really small, coming with a minimal OSD there uh really really small um so i've had it flight ready the only bad thing i'll say about it right now is it's uh, really prone to vibrations you got to do uh everything you can to uh keep the vibrations down on it but anyway uh the biggest reason i wanted to do this video is because i had a couple of viewers ask about wiring and i have uh three different examples here i wanted to share with you <clears throat> this is the uh, first example some uh, bills that you get comes with this plate that has the soldering points in it that you can uh, solder your ESCs. Um, this one here has the power lead going to it. And then uh, you could put a uh, different type of connector here or you can solder uh, anything else that you might need into it. But anyway, as you can see, the, the power or the positive and the ground are both connected to the ESCs. They're kind of twisted around here because of the way that I've had to to lay everything in here but that's one example uh, basically in a nutshell uh, you have your power coming in from your battery it goes to all the positive and all the negative sides of your ESC's and anytime you uh, do any of this kind of wiring you always want to um, add I would say at least two plugs I have these uh, JST connectors here um, this one here is actually going to be powering the Mini X it doesn't get power from an ESC like uh, some flight controllers are um, but I have this one that runs up to the flight controller and then I have another plug that's coming down here that's going to be going to the gimbal which I'm still working on it got a power wire going in there and the only other plug that I'm thinking I might add is for the video I am considering uh, doing one or two things I may run uh, four cell on this and if I run four cell uh, I'm gonna have issue with the uh, video because I cannot run uh, that much power through the video transmitter and the camera so I'll probably run a separate flight battery and if I do stick with the three cells I may run a separate flight battery um, anyway uh, to kind of help keep the interference down from uh, you know the ESC's and everything this is a battery that I bought I think it was in my previous videos uh, use it as a flight battery for the uh, camera and uh, video transmitter to power those things <clears throat> But anyway, it's pretty much, uh, you know, pretty easy to figure out all your positives, positive sides of the uh, the battery, negative sides of the negative sides of the battery, and just add your plugs in, your plug-ins for um, different accessories. And depending on what you want to add, uh, you may want to add different more or different type of plugs. <clears throat> so y'all always got to think ahead because sometimes I've done two or three builds and end up wishing I added another plug. 
But anyway, these are the wires that go to uh, from the ESCs to the flight controller for each motor. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, this particular minimum OSD with Mini X, it has uh, this cord here goes from the flight controller, plugs into this box, and out of this box you have the AV in and the AV out on both sides. So that's what these are. This will actually go to the camera, the ground, and the video side of the camera, and then this one will go to the video side of the transmitter and the ground wire there as well. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really, really simple. Uh, here's the GPS wire. It goes to the uh, the flight controller as well. Um, but this uh, Mini X, I'm really liking it. It's really small. It's really easy to mount because it's so small. But anyway, um, show you another example of uh, wiring. This is a QAV clone. It is a uh, um, just a replica. I got it from Banggood. But anyway, um, this particular one here, I ran uh, a power distribution board. And that's what's right there on the back. I think I have one, have one laying right here as an example. Power distribution board. It's a little bit different than the one I had in here, but basically that's it. That's another option you can do. I don't typically run the power distribution board because that's just added weight. If I can get away with it, I don't run them. I normally tie everything in together. In my next example, I'll show you what that means. But uh, but with this one, it just kind of worked out, and I haven't quite gotten everything. Uh, I'm going to zip tie all these wires down so they're a little bit more secure and they're not having the chance of moving around like that. But basically, uh, I have the, the battery coming or the lead coming in from the battery that's been soldered here, and then um, accordingly to the board. Uh, depending on uh, what type of board you got and how it's set out you got the positive parts of the board and then on the inside right here could be the negative however you want to lay it out and this would be where your power uh, lead comes in at and then you just solder those on uh, accordingly and then uh, if like again if you uh, plan on doing any kind of accessories I have uh, these two right here I have these two SJT uh, plugs right here to run uh, different parts uh, one of them on this, this has a A's and Acro in it. One of these actually goes to the VBAT so I can monitor the uh, power or the flight controller can monitor power. And the other one here is what I was using to run the uh, video uh, camera and uh, transmitter. So that's pretty easy. I mean, the, the same thing with the ESC wires. They go up to the flight controller and plug in accordingly to uh, motors one through four, depending on what flight controller uh, might be in different orientations. Um, as far as the uh, the motor are from the back side of the ESCs, the three wires. Uh, it really don't matter initially which ones you put in. This particular one, I soldered them straight to the ESCs. Uh, the only problem with that is, is once you do your configuring, you find out that you have one motor spinning in the wrong direction. You may have to swap one of the two wires. Two wires. It doesn't matter which ones as long as you swap them. Um, if you have a motor running backwards. Um, this one here I wanted to build just as light as possible so I didn't put any plugs like this one here it has these these plugs here that you can uh, separate and swap the wires if you need to but on this one here I wanted to stay as light as possible so I just kind of omitted as much as I could and just made the wires as short as possible but anyway that's that example the next example is this nemesis uh, frame here and this one here uh, I have the power lead going in, and it's really hard to see it. I'll see if I can get real close, the light in it, right in there. Basically, essentially, what I did is I took all the uh, positive sides of the ESCs, and then the lead coming from the battery, and I soldered them all into one unit, basically. And then on the other side, let's see if we can look at the ground. Basically, the ground did the same thing. Can't really see it really tough to see it but basically I took all the wires together soldered them and um, of course and then I, here's my two plugs here I've got one for the VBAT and then this one here I have for uh, running the video because these things are so small I don't have room to run a flight battery so a separate flight battery and this one here I am going to be putting a minimal OSD on it this is the GPS module that actually came off the Alien 500 I'm having issues with vibrations and stuff with that um, I haven't really gotten anywhere with this too much. I started getting my parts in for my S500 
and I had just been kind of working on that. But that's basically the simple part of uh, the wiring uh, as far as uh, hooking everything up. Of course, uh, depending on uh, what uh, controller you're running, I just got a Tyrannus Plus, and this is going to be, I'm going to be running S Bus with this. And what S Bus is, is basically I'm going to be running this one wire for all uh, up to 16 channels with the Tyrannus. Um, it's capable of running through that one wire. Whereas with the Trinity X9 back here in the back, um, this is the receiver for it. It's an 8 channel receiver, but I have to have a uh, signal wire going to each one of the channels. This one here has the Trinity receiver in it. I've just taken the case off of it to try to lighten it up. It's just hanging in the back there. And you have to have that breakout cable that breaks out each uh, signal wire going into the NACE 32 right there. All that stuff's on clean flight. It has a wire, uh, the uh, pinouts and stuff like that so you can figure out what channel goes to what and so you can configure it in clean flight. But uh, basically that's it. Um, the wiring is pretty simple. Uh, as long as you get all your positive wires with your positive side of the battery, negative side of the wires, the negative side of the battery, ESCs, um, just uh, you know if you got if you got these connectors here you can always uh, swap them if you have wires you know you need to change them but uh, you know always uh, be prepared to uh, have to swap some wires because you got a uh, one of these motors running the wrong direction because this happened to me a couple of times but on this frame um, I got really lucky I didn't have to swap anything it, everything came out just just perfect on it but I'm gonna have some more videos of this frame um, coming up I'm going to uh, be adding some uh, um, some crab leg style landing gears because I'm really not a big fan of, of those legs. They're real cheap, but the thing wobbles so bad. And it's really easy to land on. I haven't had any problems with the tipping, but uh, I just I just don't like that. And it gets even worse the more weight gets on it. But uh, um, in my next videos, I'll go over the gimbal control and how to wire that up, um, how I can overcome some of the obstacles with that. But uh, basically, that's all I wanted to share this time around. Uh, anyway, thanks guys.